Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video we are going to be doing something that I haven't done in a really really long time and that is something that I haven't done in a really really long time and I'm so excited for this video because we are going to be doing three looks using one palette and that palette is the ColourPop Hocus Pocus palette. So unfortunately I don't know if this palette is ever going to come back in stock. I think it's out of stock on all platforms. So if you don't have it and you wanted it maybe try checking your old, local Ulta store and see if they have it. But other than that I don't know if they're going to be restocking it because from what I've heard they're not. Which is kind of um, sad because I know a lot of people really really wanted this eyeshadow palette. But for those of you who do have it and probably are like, I don't know what to do with this eyeshadow palette, I'm going to be showing you three different looks that you can create with this beautiful eyeshadow palette. This is what the inside looks like right here. We have the artwork of the three sisters right here. And then we have these beautiful shades, which I know a lot of people were given this palette crap because they were saying that um, the colors were really boring, um, that they weren't anything exciting. But I think it kind of fits because... A lot of deep tones um, that I feel like are just absolutely perfect for the vibe, you know, and I still feel like you have some fun pops of color, like they're not going to be bright and neon because, you know, it's like a dark movie, so why would you have bright neons? Like, I don't know, that's just how I see it. Um, and I know that there was also some controversy about this artwork here because people were saying that they saw it like on a cookie package, and just so you guys know, whenever ColourPop um, collaborates with Disney, Disney has most of the control on what the packaging is going to look like, what the colors are going to look like, what the names are. So it's not that ColourPop loses its creative control. It's just like Disney kind of has the final say when it comes to collections like that. So just keep that in mind whenever you're trying to be really harsh and saying like ColourPop, you guys messed up. Like it wasn't ColourPop. It really wasn't. I already have my face makeup on and before I start I do want to address the elephant in the room in case if you guys have noticed on my nose that I do have a little bit of a bump right here. She's not a pimple. She's an actual bump. I dropped my phone on my face and uh, well that's what we have going on there. Also real quick shout out to this Patrick Ta um, blush palette in the shade Do We Know Her because look at that glow on our skin. I mean it's partially this. It's partially the ColourPop Out of Quartz Super Shock Cheek, which has been come, become my newest obsession. If you have deep skin tone, you need this in your life because it's going to give you that lit from within. Like yesterday, I kept getting questions on what highlighter I have on because it just looks so subtle and so like natural. And I apply it actually with a beauty sponge, which has been my other newest obsession is applying my cream products with that so anyways yeah I took the powder then I took the uh, cream and put it on top and it gave me this beautiful glow so I just wanted to share that real quick totally tangent but anyways so we're gonna jump right into this um we're gonna do the three different looks and I'll share my thoughts with you at the end of the video on the eyeshadow palette so if you guys want to see what I come up with then continue watching so starting off, I'm going to show you guys how I prep and prime my eyes. So I'm using this um, Angel Eyes Primer from Luscious Beauty. And I'm just going to go ahead and um, kind of carve out my eyebrows and just pat the um, primer onto my eyelids. And I like using this one because it does have a little bit of a color and a base. So I feel like it just makes the colors really shine. Then I blend it out with a beauty sponge and set it with a little bit of powder. And then we're going to jump right into the eyeshadow palette. So this is what the eyeshadow shadow palette looks like and we're taking the first shade called hello salem on a really fluffy brush and i'm just going to go ahead and dust that into my crease and then to define things a little bit more i'm just going to go ahead and take the shade on toast and i'm going to go ahead and start off by applying that on my outer corner kind of creating a outer v shape type of a shape shape i'm um, sorry I forgot how to speak there for a second, but I'm just blending out the edges and then deepening things up a little bit more with a shade called Night of Frolic. And I'm taking that on a pointed taper blending brush and just kind of patting it down first and um, lightly blending out the edges of it because I really want this color to be nice and intense. And then I'm just taking that um, crease brush from earlier and just blending out all the edges, making sure that both of the colors um, are nice and diffused and that I also apply a little bit on my lower lash line as well well and really take your time until you get it nice and diffused looking and then taking a little bit on of the shade called full moon with this 
Alamad um, Defining Crease um, Brush. It's a really interesting shape brush. It's like a fan shape. Just applying that onto my eyelid and then taking a little bit of brew potion, which is the pressed glitter on the beauty sponge thing from Huda Beauty. I forget what this is called. But anyways, then I'm taking my Thrive Cosmetics uh, mascara, which is some of my favorite. And this is the finished look. I applied a little bit of a uh, lip oil just to kind of make things really nice and natural. But I really love how this first look came out. I think it's definitely my favorite of the three different looks. I like how the glitter just kind of adds a little pop and shine to the look. Then we're taking the... um second to last row and I'm mostly working with these shades so I'm taking on toast again putting that in my crease and a little bit of bewitched which is the matte olive green shade and I'm applying that to my outer and inner corner of my eye you guessed it of course we're doing a three looks one palette halo eye because we always do that every single time but I'm going to go ahead and apply that on my inner and outer corner of my eye and then just blending it it was kind of hard to blend out um so then I went ahead and took a little bit of Yabos and I'm just going to go ahead and put that um, right on top of those two inner and outer corner shades but leaving the center a little bit blank. Um, as I was doing this I had a different vision so I wanted to keep it matte at first but then I decided to take a little bit of Wench which I forgot to show which is a metallic shade, put it in the center, apply a little bit of lashes and this is the second look. Not my favorite look that I created but you know what we were just kind of going with it. I wish I would have lined my eyes a little more but that's that. Anyways for the third and last look taking a little bit of Hello Salem and I'm applying that with a denser crease brush on my inner corner. Then taking a little bit of Come Little Children. And I'm applying that with my finger because it is a matte sequence shade. And I feel like the shimmer in this is just so beautiful. Taking a little bit of Coven and putting it into my crease and my outer corner just to apply a little bit more definition. Taking a black eyeliner and I'm going to go ahead and create a nice wing. And then I'm going to go ahead and take... Um, I call it a bus and I'm going to go ahead and just put that right on top to soften things up and really smoke out this look because I wanted it to be a really nice soft grungy like smoky eye um, and then I took my lashes and put that right on top just to kind of complete everything and now I'm taking a red lip liner I'm going to go ahead and um, line my whole entire lips with it and taking the ultra blotted lip from Colourpop I think this is called like cherry potion or something like that and I'm just putting that right on top just to intensify things a little bit more without making it too dark and this is the third and final look all right so this is it for the three looks using the hocus pocus times color pop palette so overall um i did like most of the eyeshadows in this eyeshadow palette i would say the only one that i kind of like am indifferent about is this bewitch shade here which olive greens are really really hard to formulate in general so it just was kind of like muddy and patchy and it could be because i was taking off makeup and then putting makeup on top but overall i really did like how the eyeshadow eyeshadows performed um i was really pleasantly surprised with the sequins shades and this eyeshadow palette i just feel like they really like made the glitter adhere seamlessly um and effortlessly and i feel like it just goes with the vibe and this is definitely going to be a dark palette for anyone it's not going to be like an everyday pretty eyeshadow palette like you could create something really soft and neutral with these top shades here but once you get into these shades here you're going to have just dark shades overall so i tried incorporating as many colors as i could i just didn't get to use these two shades right here this shade right here so i think i used most of the shades in the palette and like i said i did like um the overall like look and vibe that i got from everything if the eyeshadow palette does comes back in stock and you're into like you know deep dark shades like smoky grungy shades i feel like this is going to be a great palette for you if that's not really your vibe and if you're not a big fan of hocus pocus i probably will skip out on this eyeshadow palette so um yeah that's pretty much all i have for you guys let me know which one of the three looks was your favorite and if you guys do recreate it please make sure you guys do tag me on my instagram i would love to see your guys recreation and um if you have any requests let me know down below in the comments what you guys would like to see from me next and i'll see you guys in the next one until then